everyone. Adam here, so Wizard Podcast. I have another interview for you today. Uh, this one was a lot of fun, and I'm going to be honest. When uh, Seb reached out and asked if I would interview him and his buddy Will about the movie they made together, I watched some of the movie, and I didn't want to do it at all. But I don't want to crap on people's work, and he was looking for help spreading his project. I know how hard that can be, so we said, yeah, great, let's do it. And I was a little nervous going into the interview because I'm not going to sit here and tell somebody that their movie was trash or, you know, just, you know, just just crap all over them, I guess. But I also don't want to go the other way and just praise something that I really didn't care for. So it was so refreshing when Seb and Will showed up and the entire over two hour movie is basically them trolling, essentially. It's kind of light jabs poking fun at all of these online critics, I mean, I guess like me, who just sit there and waste all their time talking about how bad a movie is and how terrible it is as if they know everything in the world, uh, which I thought was really funny. So during COVID, Seb was watching a lot of these and started making a list of what do all of these horrible movies have in common? And then instead of going and making a movie and trying not to touch any of those, he went and made a movie and tried to touch all of them and do it a lot. So they get into the whole making of it inside, but I thought these two guys were hilarious and their lives are kind of, you know, forking right now. They're both starting a university college, so they don't really have the time together, but I think their high-level online trolling was so funny that I wish they would do more. Anyway, um, Seb's going to explain it way better than I am now. I'm just trying to kind of give you the rundown on what Jaws Ruin the Prom, which is what the movie's called, Jaws Ruin the Prom, is all about. So enjoy the interview. Hey, everybody. Adam here, So Wizard Podcast. I'm sitting down with Seb and Will, who made a movie called Jaws Ruin the Prom. How you guys doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Thanks for coming on. I'm doing good. Thanks. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so before we get to uh, Jaws Ruin the Prom, when did you guys start making movies? This is the first movie. Um, okay. The, yeah. Um, the first one we uh, we did, and probably the last, to be honest. Um, but uh, it was more of a one-time thing than uh, than uh, the, start of, the start of a legacy, per se. But, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any specific reason? Was it like way um, too much or? <laughs> yeah, I think it was part of the Yeah, sorry, yeah. During the coronavirus lockdown and like, there's not much yeah. to do and we thought we could make a movie. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Fair enough. <laughs> but it's not like a, a movie's not a passion then. Um, not Not like a huge sort of thing. I mean, so... I don't know if you know, like, the full backstory. We're going to give the full backstory when we... Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. it. But, um, so the, the reason why I, um, I I decided to make a movie in the first place was I've seen um, on YouTube and all these platforms, you know, there's lots of uh, movie review sort of channels, podcasts, all that sort of stuff. And um, then there's another type of uh, content, which seems to be, like, people who rank movies, sort of. And um, I watched quite a few in the past and I'd always seen the people who watch the bad movies. I mean, that's what makes, for me personally, I enjoy that sort of content. It's fun to laugh at, you know, it's uh, sort of, it, it sort of gave me the idea that I thought to myself, well, what if, what if I took the worst elements of all these bad movies and combined them and to see what we'd, uh, we create and um, we created Jaws in the Prom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, oh, Will, how about from your side? Is acting something you were interested in or are you just friends with Seven? You're like, yeah, all right, I'll do it. Yeah, well, I mean, I've done a little bit of acting before so with singing and stuff because we were both quite big into that. But no, it was just I'm friends with him and he pitched me this idea and I thought, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> That's really funny, especially because the movie's over two hours. It's not like you made a 10 minute thing. Yeah. Um, so for both of you to be like, this isn't really what we want to do, but we're not doing anything else. Let's make a two hour movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, actually it was, it was going to be three hours. Um, but, uh, 
my my computer storage couldn't handle it. Um, <laughs> it, 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 was, it was only two hours. I mean, the processing time. I mean, that's something that I didn't realize until I actually started editing it and and um, putting it all together. Is that like uploading onto YouTube was was one thing because I mean that took maybe two and a half hours, I think. Which that's actually was not really bad for a two-hour video because like these half-hour yeah, interviews yeah. I do can take an hour sometimes. Yeah, um, and the processing time though, like from the software that I used to edit, um, just to save it onto my computer, that was what took the longest. Because when I finally, I I edited all the scenes individually in, and then when I finally put them all together, um, it took about five and a half, six hours. So yeah, that was. Um, I, I mean, I just left my computer on and uh, let it run in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the thing was probably red hot when it got done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. When did you learn how to make movies if you had never done it? It's not like a huge passion. Did you just kind of figure it out as you went? Pretty much. Um, I'm, I was relatively lucky because one of uh, one of our friends, he's actually, he's featured in the movie um, partially. He's in a couple of scenes, but he didn't want to show his face in the movie. So he's like, <laughs> holding the monster for me. Um, which is fair enough. Uh, you don't really want to be attached to um something of this of this quality i think um, <laughs> but uh he he he's dabbled with um youtube and twitch a bit he's made a few edits here and there so he actually recommended me like an editing software to use that was free um and sort of gave me pointers on um where certain things could like benefit with the software all that sort of stuff okay so to get to the, the technical part, well, I guess let's start at the writing phase because that would, <clears throat> I guess, normally come first. Did you write a full script? Um, partially. It was, yeah. Some scenes we just, like, we met up and we said, like, okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's just do it one take. But then other scenes are slightly more actors than just me. So we had to get a slight script, but that's for a vast minority of the film. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so anything that was pretty much uh will just you on screen was just kind of like here's what we need it to do go do yeah. your thing pretty yeah much. pretty much <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> i guess that um that's kind of a nice carefree way to do it when your goal is to like well we don't want the acting to be top caliber we want it to come across as like what the hell are they doing <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a really funny concept, and I, it was probably really fun to make. It was, yeah. yeah. It was very fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody else, all the other actors in the movie, was it just, again, friends? You went to them and said, hey, this is what we're doing. This is what we're looking for. Let's just have some fun. Yeah, so um, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of give the backstory with this. So we, um, I, I had a few people who I wanted to um, help out, a few people in mind. There was one guy who is an actual actor. I think he's working with Netflix at the moment. And he said he wanted to help, but I purposefully told him, no, stay away because this will ruin your career. <laughs> he, he's actually done quite well for himself. So he um, stayed out of it, um, luckily for him. But was uh, nice of him, though. <laughs> but... Um, so we got a few people together. It was really difficult to find a day because everyone was doing stuff over the summer. Um, but eventually we found a day where uh, everyone said they were able to make it. And then I think the day before, um, one of my, well, one of our, one of our good friends pulled out. So um, that left us with uh, one vacant role. Um, and we sort of came up with the, with the idea to make it even, even worse of a scene that um, Will plays both roles. And uh, there's actually a uh, conversation where he sort of, he puts on this mask, talks as one character, and then takes it off and finishes the conversation and, and it goes back and forth like that. So um, I think in, in essence, that uh, the hindrance actually really helped with, the, with uh, our end goal. Yeah, okay, that's funny. How, what, what other kind of stuff was there in that vein where like it seemed like something was falling apart and you're like, well, given our concept, let's just lean into it. Mm. I think one thing I was I noticed it like we didn't realize while we were shooting, but the fact that we didn't use like a microphone, uh, like we just realized after looking at all the footage, like the talking is really quiet. So like when during editing, we just have to whack up the volume, and there's a bit of quite a lot of background noise, which kind of adds to it, but it's just not not great mic quality. Yeah. What, did you shoot it on like an iPhone, or did you have a camera? 
Yeah, it was, it was my phone that I'm using right now. <laughs> it was uh, that simple. I mean, with the editing thing, um, we only realized when I like fully uploaded it onto my computer and listened to it back, wait, I can barely hear what's going on. Um, and I didn't actually know how to fix it at first in the editor. And then eventually about halfway through the movie, the sound sort of kind of like picks up and you can actually hear it okay. Um, so I think the first half of the movie, you're fluctuating between maximum volume and minimum volume on whatever device you're using because it's that sort of, it, it, it's that, um, yeah, it's it's that bad when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the audio. Was there ever a thought? Because this is what I, where I thought Will was going with it when he mentioned the audio. Was there ever a thought to um, redub the lines, but not really do a great job syncing it up? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it crossed our mind. But I thought we we just thought if it's just pure and just just bad, it'll be good. Like <laughs> there, there, is, there is one scene actually. Uh, I believe it's the oh, second. Yeah the second scene in the movie where um, I did actually uh, cut out the audio because I wasn't happy with the line or something and thought to myself, well, how am I supposed to fix this? I don't want to cut out the whole thing. So I just recorded a voice note on my phone. Um, doesn't match the, the lips of, of my character. Doesn't match anything. It just, so that is, there is one dubbed line in the movie and that's it. The rest is, uh, it's all normal. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and that's something you see in like like um kind of B movies from the 90s is they always added in extra dialogue when nobody's talking and it's like you didn't need that. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so you kind of sort of wrote a script. You got your friends involved. You shot it all on an iPhone. I'm guessing since you didn't have a microphone, you didn't bother with like lighting or setups like that. No. <laughs> was the whole yeah. thing shot in sequence? Like scene one, scene two? Or did you kind of like, oh, we're at the high school now. Let's do that. Oh, we're at the beach. Let's do that. Well, I guess most of it's the beach, but. Yeah, partially. Um, partially. I think for the most part, it was shot in sequence. And um, and because we didn't write most of the the movie, we sort of, that worked to our advantage because we could decide, oh, we want this to happen next and then just film it as we thought of the idea. Um, but there were some things where we had to, we, we were able to film like later scenes first, like when we had to have the scene, I think there's about six people in uh, the, in two of the scenes where we got uh, our friends involved. Um, those were filmed later because um, it was just easier and we, we only had very limited time to actually film with them. Um, but for the most part, it was literally just making it up as we go along and uh, seeing what seeing what happened. That's really funny. So you got pretty good with the editing software then, if you could take the stuff from out of order and put it together and at oh, least oh, competent. Oh, it. <laughs> it's not that hard because I'd done zero editing before this and it took me maybe like an hour to fully get to grips with the stuff that I wanted to to do and, it, and and all I did was really just dragging clips and and sometimes like fading in and out and adding like volume to the audio and stuff. But that was basically it. There's a whole bunch more complex stuff that I'm not even going to touch because uh, I'm nowhere near skilled enough. But uh, sure, it wasn't yeah. that. Much. Yeah, yeah, and you didn't need it. Yeah. So uh, before you had mentioned because I I said that it was over two hours that it was ambition. You said it was going to be three. Was mm. having it be as long as possible part of the joke? Yeah, yeah, that was one of our um, our. Um, I, I was aiming for three, um, but obviously I said because of the um, storage on my computer. Right. And <laughs> you didn't want to go um, and get an extra yeah. hard drive. I didn't want. I didn't want, I didn't want to risk my computer blowing up. Um, yeah. So, uh, but we stuck to two, and um, and I think the way we sort of film scenes, like there's a lot of filler in the movie. There's a lot of dead space, um, and there's quite literally. I mean. When, when you watch someone reviewing a movie, they might point at a scene and say, that scene was pointless, nothing happened. Well, in our movie, there are scenes where nothing happens. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm just stating that there are points where I'm just filming nothing, pretty much. Um, <laughs> basically, just to, to drag it on as long as possible and sort of add like that extra insult to... Uh, to what you're watching pretty much <laughs> so you went beyond like say will shows up at a scene gets out of a car and starts a conversation most movies would just 
quickly get to the conversation, but you would probably have him pull up, check his phone, mm-hmm. take his seatbelt off, get out of the car, forget his keys. <laughs> uh, it's worse than that. Is uh, there's, okay. quite there's quite literally, I think there's one scene where Will's sleeping, and for about five minutes, I'm just filming him not moving in in the bed. It's it's literally that bad. <laughs> there are there are scenes like that, but I think that doesn't mean it's not worth the watch because there are lots of scenes that I think no, are definitely. genuinely quite funny. Definitely. Oh, so well, I mean, that's that's the whole gag. For anyone who's watching it and knows what you guys were doing, I think that's the kind of stuff that they'd be looking mm-hmm. for. Yeah, well, well, that's actually one thing as well that, that I'm really glad that I'm doing the interview for is because uh, outside of my friend group and maybe a couple other people that I've told about the movie, um, everyone that's seen it, which isn't much, um, to be fair, but they all think it's a legitimate movie, which is... Uh, what I was going for because on uh, Twitter, especially, I, bought, I, I, I kind of built up this uh, facade of of this really sort of out of touch, uh, like movie creator who's begging for anyone to sort of watch his movie, but sort of hailing it as this masterpiece when really it's literally just over the summer, we just sort of filmed what we could and, and, and edited it together. <laughs> Maybe we should do a different interview where you're just convincing me that like this was your passion well, project. Well, yeah, we were, we were actually um, debating that until maybe half an hour before the interview, we sort of concluded we should probably tell the real story because I think it's a lot more interesting anyway. But we were thinking of what if we just did this interview in character and, and just properly went full, full, like uh, sort of, just like acted as if it was like the holy grail of movies and, and, yeah. and we decided against it which is probably the right call um, <laughs> i think it's a genius idea though like if you just kept it going on for like a year and just kept trying to get people to watch yeah. this <laughs> yeah so have you been doing uh many interviews because you're i'm guessing you got to be just reaching out to people completely on your own yeah it's it's literally just been me sort of following a few random people on Twitter and replying to threads and basically just begging for people to watch the movie. Um, and I had, so, so you guys were the, the first people to actually reach out, um, which first of all, thank you very much for having yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for the patience on the rescheduling. I just have like oh, multiple no jobs going on right now and it's a mess. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> no, that's all right, don't worry. Um, but uh, there was one other review, m- movie review channel, I, I believe that, um they said they were going to check it out and this is back in july i think when i first like so what you know uh i don't know who runs the um twitter account but i sort of just copied and pasted this long paragraph saying how you should watch my movie because it's going to blow up and you're going to get thousands of views and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, sort of like the character i was speaking of earlier um and I'd copy and pasted that to a whole bunch of people. You guys thankfully reached out. Um, there was another review channel that did reach out. Um, and I, uh, I, I think I, uh, checked in on them in September and they said they were, they were planning on watching it, um, over like fr- from when I checked in, they said they were going to watch it in that month and I haven't heard from them since. So they probably <laughs> took, took a look at the first five minutes and, uh, and sort of <laughs> yeah, doing. especially like after three months of putting it off, it's like, they're just yeah, being exactly. polite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, it, it's it's awesome that you're beating that drum yourself because I've been doing something similar for a project of mine and it's it's a nightmare to try to get any attention on something. Mm-hmm. And when you're pretty much just trolling people, it's that much funnier, but it's still yeah. a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely very difficult to actually gain uh, some traction. I mean, it's, it's tough. Like, I've... Uh, I've got like, I mean, the movie's been out. I can check on my um, computer here. The movie's been out for just over a month. A month. Yeah, a month and two weeks, I think, and it's got less than a hundred views. And most of that is just me, people, me spamming people on uh, Twitter or getting friends was, to watch um, it. When the trailer had just dropped, there was one time where we went into a, a stream, like a, fa- a popular streamer stream, and said like, mm. "React to this video." You sent it in, and yeah, I mean, the trailer's got a couple hundred views now. Yeah, well, the, trailer, the trailer did all right, um, and that was because I was in uh, some large streamer on uh, Twitch, I believe it was, and I was just 
I, I was spamming in the chat. He was doing like a YouTube uh, sort of watch night, a, a watch along thing. And I was literally just spamming for a good 10 minutes in the chat. Um, you've got to go watch the Jaws were in the prom trailer. It's a masterpiece. You've got to go watch Jaws were in the prom trailer over and over and over. And eventually, I mean, he, he literally looked at it for about five seconds and uh, looked at the uh, the opening thing and said, oh, it looks good and clicked off. So obviously, <laughs> obviously just went to like appease me. But um, that did get a couple hundred views from that, which I mean, it goes a long way, really. Yeah, that's something. Yeah. That's funny. Do you have like a uh, social media accounts and everything just for the movie? Um, so I have, I think I have, well, the Twitter is the main one, which is, um, I don't know if you, am, am I allowed to like plug it or? Uh... Oh yeah, absolutely. Plug everything. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So the, the Twitter is at Jaws prom. Um, and that's the main sort of, I try and post every day sort of thing. Um, just try and like tagging onto random people. Um, that's the main one. And then I do have a, a Reddit account, which is also u slash Jaws Prom, uh, I believe. And uh, I created a subreddit, which has two members, one of which is myself, the other is Will. <laughs> um, and, and I mean, that one I don't care about at all. So that I've done nothing with pretty much. But um, there is actually another aspect to the movie, which I think makes it stand out from other movies because... I was thinking to myself, I had like a spare 50 quid or whatever, which I think is, I think it was like $70. Um, and I thought to myself, I, I, you know what I want to do? I want to, I, I'm not going to do it myself because I'm not nearly um, talented enough, but I want to sort of source a, uh, not, not necessarily a theme, the theme song for the movie, um, but more like a full length song about the movie. So um, I reached out to this guy, um, I believe his name is uh, Rob Belushi uh, on Fiverr and Instagram. And he was great. He was really, really easy to work with. And I mean, he delivered the, movie, the, the, the song in like five days or so. You basically just tell him what genre and, and tell him the general plot. And uh, he, was, he was really good, actually. So there's actually a uh, official Jaws Were in the Prom song called From Death that's also on my YouTube. Um, and that one hasn't done nearly as well. That's got like 30 views or so, which is still, which is, I'm still happy with. Um, I mean, in a month with a yeah. channel that doesn't have a following already, those are really not bad view numbers because it takes oh, yeah. forever to grow that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really happy with how it's going. Um, but, um, but yeah, so I think that's another aspect which uh, sort of makes, uh, makes this movie even more special. You know, it's uh, how many movies, do you know, that have an official song. No, that's <laughs> awesome, especially for a relatively low cost. Like, that's really awesome that you got that, a that custom was song. The only money, that was the only money I ever spent on the movie, was the song. <laughs> so that was your budget, 70 that US dollars. Totally <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's so, so we awesome. Put it on, um, we put it on what's it, uh, IMDb, and you set mm -hmm. the budget as low as possible, which is already like 50, 50 quid. Yeah. And we, ha we still hadn't spent the budget at that point, so we thought, well, what are we going to do? And then I thought we would just leave it. And then Seb comes to me like a while later and says, I've spent the budget. You'll see it. It's coming out soon. <laughs> and it was, yeah. That's so funny that IMDB is what made your budget because you had to define it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, have you guys thought about, like, I know you said movie making is not your passion, but it seems like you're really loving this ongoing, like, kind of trolling joke. Have you thought about doing more maybe not another two hour movie but mm. it might be slightly harder now because we've both gone like to different like we've just gone to uni and everything and we're both in different places so if we were to work to, to work together again it would have to be like much less time just in the holidays and stuff that makes sense um yeah but i have thought about it i think i wouldn't be opposed to making a sequel um but only if I get someone with an actual following involved, like a like a decently sized person. So I've, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, right. But, um, like if you wanted to do it, you'd want people to actually see it, so it was worth the time to do it a whole second yeah. time. Yeah, exactly. Because there were, I mean, it was a whole bunch of fun to make, but I think to watch because we had a watch party with a few of uh, the friends who were in it. Um, they basically just came around to my house um, and. They watched it because at that at that point the COVID restrictions were um, a lot less strict. So um, 
they all came round and and unfortunately actually the uh, the video that's on my channel is not the official movie um it is in the sense that it's the uh, it's the actual file but the the original movie that I they uploaded um I I scheduled it for a premiere which was this uh watch long that we were doing and I saw that on the movie I had three cro copyright claims which I don't care about I mean all the all the all the music that I used said that it was no copyright although I still have three copyright claims which whatever I'm not going to make any money from it anyway so yeah, I don't yeah. I mean, um, the worst they're going to do is ask you to remove it. They're not going to like come to your yeah. house. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so I, I, I saw that I had copyright claims and I, I was on my computer and I thought, you know what, I'll go into the YouTube editor, sort of try and patch it. Um, and I tried for the, for the one copyright claim um, and it said it was processing for a good four or five hours, which I thought, okay, this isn't good. Uh, eventually my computer shut down because it's just on too long and uh, I rebooted it and it and, and I thought it was fine and I just didn't touch the other ones because I thought fine I'll deal with it later. Comes to the watch along and we're about halfway through the movie and uh, and the, the the video froze and then we didn't know what was going on so we waited a good 15 20 minutes and um, then the audio the audio picked up um, so from that point there was like 10, 15 minutes maybe of just a still image. And then from then it was the movie, but just the audio with the same still image. So I had to delete, I have, I had to delete that uh, upload and, and just re-upload it. So I haven't dealt with the, the copyright stuff, which I don't really plan to anyway. Um, but yeah, that, that was another like sort of icing on the cake with yeah. everything, <laughs> everything's gone wrong. And then the one thing that is not supposed to go wrong, which is actually watching it, goes wrong itself <laughs> and the fact that you went out of your way to find royalty free music and they're still hitting you with it is like i could have you could have put on whatever soundtrack you wanted because you didn't care yeah. if they took it down so <laughs> yeah i think i think what we were what, what we sort of wanted to do though was um we found a lot of these uh royalty free stuff that they used in a lot of these uh a, a lot of sort of uh what, what, what would you call them like compilation videos maybe um okay or like video game edit sort of stuff so you oh, right, yeah yeah you recognize the tunes but it would be those sort of songs that are so overused that they become like not unbearable but it's like every time you listen to it like you sort of associate it with like those like with, with like a 10 year old editing Fortnite clips together or something. It's like a joke um, in itself because everybody yeah. knows that it's a royalty free song that you just used for your movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're good at the, the spoofing thing because you thought of every level of it. Yeah. Well, the, the one thing that I wanted to do and I was chatting to Will about this and eventually we decided against it because it was just too complex was, uh, maybe CGI, um, and there's no CGI in the movie, but if I were to add something, you know, in a perfect world, if I were to make, if I were to make it again, then I might do some CGI in there, like really bad, sort of. Yeah, um, like spend five thing. hours with Blender and. <laughs> yeah, but um, but because like with with the sort of, uh, I had a look at like how it would actually work, and I just it all went over my head. Like it was way too difficult. We just decided against it. Especially without software, like to spend zero dollars on software. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Will, you've been uh, you've been pretty quiet. Like, how much more uh, involvement in the creative process were you aside from being the lead? Um, I mean, I helped come up with uh, some of the ideas, but the majority of it was Seb. Like, he's a listed as a creative director. Like, every single credit is him, and then, <laughs> except for a couple of the actors, but. Hmm. We, when he first gave the idea, we were just kind of brainstorming back and forth, coming up with different mm. ideas, some of which we used, some of which we didn't. And then mm. we, we'd just like say, do you want to come do the film today? And I'd show up and then we'd do some. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So yeah. you had it pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you help with the edit or anything? Or you just kind of did your part and then watched it when it was done? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's just his, his, his computer and is a bit long to be at his house while it all like renders and everything. So Oh yeah, that's true, yeah. But that's there were some stylistic suggestions that I gave, but nothing like super movie yeah. impacting. 
Well, there was there was also a whole bunch of stuff where like I would tell Will what I wanted in the scene, and then he'd just do something randomly um, that really added to it, and and like even I personally wasn't expecting. Um, I mean, there's this one scene where he sort of he's got a um, a football, which I guess you would call a, a soccer ball, um, and um, he's he's just kind of kicking it along a path, and he he actually almost kicked it over the over the bush, which would have really been uh, annoying. But um, he sort of kicked it into the bush, and I'm just thinking, oh, he's just going to get out of the bush, and all of a sudden he crawls in, and he's in there for like a good ten seconds, and and then and it's, it's these small stuff like. That that one that one section is a good twenty minutes long, um, but over the course of that twenty minutes, I mean he's he's got these running jokes where on the fly he he'll the ball will go on the bush and then he'll come out with like leaves and everything on his back and and stuff all in the same scene. There would I mean we we're just walking along and all of a sudden he goes, oh I'm I'm quite tired I'm going to take a rest and he sits on the ball and for about a minute I'm just we're just kind of standing there. So he did definitely help out in a lot of the. Uh, Sort of on the cuff sort of suggestions or, or ideas like when we're filming it i mean he just do stuff and I think it would work really well what i really enjoyed most about it was the creative freedom like we'd brainstorm like this is what we're going to do in this scene and then i'd do that and make sure i do all of that and then just do whatever just make it as funny and bad as possible especially because <laughs> you were also trying to pad the runtime so it's not even like you had to yeah. do it quick and then maybe fit in one joke you could do whatever you want and it would yeah. all stay <laughs> yeah <laughs> And the, I think ninety percent of the scenes were all just one take. So what we did, it would just it, we'd just run with it. Yeah, yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, I I love that you guys looked around during COVID and said we got nothing to do. Let's make a movie, but let's formulaically make the worst movie possible. We don't want to spend mm -hmm. any time on retakes. We don't want to finish writing a script. Let's just just do it. And you did because mm -hmm. to, for to have the follow through, I give you guys a lot of credit. Thank you. And and personally, I do believe that this is the worst movie ever made. Um, and, I, and, and I'm not even kidding with like trying to exaggerate it and stuff. I mean, there's there's some parts where if you were to watch it for the first time and even us, like we filmed it, we acted in it when we watched it for the first time. I mean, it just baffles you uh, as to what you're watching. It's it's really really bizarre at some points um and it's just bad i mean that's the one word that i that i can use to sum it up it's just bad <laughs> the the one thing that keeps coming up in my head is i i want to see like a 45 second to a minute like apple commercial but just footage from your movie <laughs> shot on an iphone shot on iphone 11 i think that would be amazing <laughs> That's a good idea. That, that, that's a good idea, actually. One of those um, super pretentious, yeah. like uh, acoustic guitar songs under it, and you're good to go. Mm. Yeah, well, that's 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 sort of what I was going for with the 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 whole Twitter facade thing. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Super pretentious, like uh, inflated ego, sort of hyper driven uh, movie maker, where you know he's really trying to get his movie out there, thinks it's amazing, but really it's quite literally the worst thing ever caught on video. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, quite, quite an interesting, uh, thing, even for us, like we, we, st I mean, it still baffles me personally as to some of the stuff that's in the movie, like watching it back. I've watched it maybe not the whole thing, but I've watched certain bits like four or five times and every time it gets you. It, yeah. That's awesome. I, I just love that you made a two hour joke pretty much just for yourselves. And now mm. you're out there beating the drum and promoting it like it's just awesome that you're not letting it go and that you finished it at all and that you're not letting it go mm, uh, i yeah. love it there was one instant like uh a week after it came out i was showing my brother and he was he said i'm determined to watch the whole thing like and i said to him it's going to be much much harder than you think gets to one scene and he's like 10 like five minutes in it's like a 20 minute scene of nothing i tell him let's skip forward and he like agrees like is you can't you just can't watch it you've got to be a different <laughs> kind of patient to actually sit through mm -hmm. everything to just sit there and watch it without your phone without doing anything else just sit yeah. there for the full two hours and what is it eight minutes or something and watch it <laughs> yeah, i mean it's, it's that bad it's it's like it could it like in 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 a in a in a different world, it might be classified as a form of of like torture for prisoners of war. Like <laughs> strap them down to a chair and just hold their eyes open and just put it on the TV, 
and that will drive you insane because it, it's that bad. Like I know what's in it and I made it and I've only ever watched the whole thing once. Um, <laughs> it, it's tough. It's a really tough thing to do. I hope you revisit it in like 10 years. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, we, I was speaking to Will um, about this and, and we were looking at the views and, and stuff and obviously it's not gone viral or anything, um, which is what obviously is the goal for everyone. Um, but I, I said to him, look, this is probably the sort of thing that's going to go under the radar for a good nine, ten years. And all of a sudden it's going to it's going to just uh, come out of nowhere. Um, at least that's the plan. <laughs> that's yeah. what I hope. Yeah, it's forever now. YouTube recommendations. It's just like a video from 10 years ago, just really bad quality, <laughs> like nothing happening. It's like that's the you, plan. you need the one right person to stumble into it and just share yeah. their friends and then their friends. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, well, I know it's a little later there for you guys, so I don't want to hold you up all day, but why don't you tell everybody uh, your socials, the website, where they can see it, like do all the plugs again. Yeah, sure. So, um, well, the, the, the trailer, the, the song and uh, the, the official movie, they're all on my YouTube, which is Seb Exel. Um, the, I think the, the Twitter, I've already said, at Jaws Prom. Uh, the same with the Reddit, which is u slash Jaws Prom, which the subreddit is r slash Jaws Ruin the Prom. Um, and then actually, uh, I tried to upload it to Genius, um, you know, the lyrics website, but that didn't work properly. But I was able to upload it to SoundCloud. Um, and the SoundCloud, I can plug it now, but it's a bit of a mouthful. So the, the SoundCloud name, if you just search Prom Death on SoundCloud, you'll find it. But the actual name of the account, I made it like three years ago, is called Broke to Diamonds. And you spell it B R zero K E to D I E M X N D Z. You gotta um, get a bitly or something in there. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta exactly. get a short it's, URL. Uh, <laughs> I actually forgot about this until I uh, started uploading onto Genius and then thought, oh, I should do it to SoundCloud. And and actually we found like three songs that I uh, I made in my uh well that we made. I think Will might have been there for this, but um it was just in like our class music lesson three years ago. Um, and, and actually one of them, I'll, I'll bring it up very quickly because I know we've got to finish and everything, but very quickly, I mean, I only just discovered this now because Will pointed out to me just before the interview um, that I had extra songs. One of them is called Double Decker and the, it's a picture of a bus. And I remember now because I thought, I was on the bus and thought, you know what, I put this on SoundCloud. So it's just a four minute recording of me on the bus. It's it's just stupid stuff like that. So I guess in in some way the the whole joke started three years ago with that. But um, the the movie itself started over the summer. We were able to finish it, and uh, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more. That's awesome. Well, guys, thanks a lot for coming on. Uh, Will, thanks for coming on. That that was a lot of fun. That was you guys are hilarious. Uh, I hope <laughs> you find the time to keep trolling people and using the internet against them because that's so awesome. Thank, thank you, you thanks for having us definitely i'd like to thank seb and will one more time for coming on the show to talk to me about jaws ruin the prom like i was saying in the beginning i think these two guys are hilarious i love what they did no i have not been able to sit through jaws ruin the prom but after the interview i did go through and skip around uh, it's free on youtube so watch it promote it at least watch the trailer it's hilarious in all of their intended ways uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. A lot more new movie covers, a lot more interviews and everything like that coming your way. You're not going to want to miss out. Also, make sure you listen to So Wizard Podcast every single week, wherever you get your podcasts. SoWizardPodcast.com is your resource for reviews, recommendations, merchandise, and more. We love hearing feedback, so leave us a note in the comments, drop something on social media. All the accounts can be found after the show and in the show notes. And on a more personal note, a really good friend and I have an ongoing comedy comic series out right now. It's called Social Studies. Uh, we made this fun little video to kind of give you a feel what it's about, but it's a slice of life comedy comic about the high school experience. Find all that and more, socialstudiescomic.com. Thanks.